let's come to question one of the additional material page 9 sc limited manufactures two products a and b company had budgeted factory overheads amounting to 36,72,000 and the budgeted DLH of 1,80,000. Company uses predetermined overhead recovery rate for product costing purpose. Department wise breakup of the overheads and DLH were as follows. Department Pi, Department Q. Additional information, each unit of product requires 4 hours in Department Pi, 1 hour in Department Q. Each unit requires 1 hour in department pi, 4 hours in department Q. First year of the company's operation, no WIP at the end of the year. However, there is some stock. You are required to determine the production and sales quantity. Effect of using instead of using department wise recovery rates. Difference in selling price. Go through the question. It's better if you can open the material and see. Else look at the screen. There in the additional material. Okay, I'll explain the question. I have budgeted for an overage of 36.72, labor assets 180. At the overall basis, the recovery rate is 20.4, 36,72,000 divided by 1,80. An organization has two ways of recovering over it. One is called blanket recovery rate or overall factory recovery rate, which means you'll use only one rate. Or you can use a separate rate for department P, department Q. A separate rate could have been used for department P and department Q. The separate rates is 28 and 12. So department P, the recovery rate should be 28. Department Q, the recovery rate should be 12. They are combining them together and the single recovery rate is 20.4. The single recovery rate is 20.4 which is a weighted average of the 28 and 12. Now, I will come to part 1 in some time. Second, they are saying, what is the effect of using a predetermined overhead rate instead of department wise overhead rate on the company's income due to its effect on stock value? On the company's income due to its effect on stock value. That is, we have gone ahead and used 20.4 single recovery rate. Instead of using a single recovery rate, we could have gone for a department wise recovery rate. So, if you do department wise recovery rate, that is more accurate. Department wise recovery rate is more accurate, but the organization has followed a single recovery rate. What is the effect of using a predetermined overhead rate instead of department wise overhead rate on the company's income due to its effect on stock value? Overheads will be considered for valuing the closing stock. Overheads will be considered for valuing the closing stock. So, whatever is the closing stock, I think the closing stock is given in the question, 1800 and 5400. This closing stock value, there will be material cost, there will be labor cost. I am not bothered about material, I am not bothered about labor. But on the overage part, you have two choices. One, going by a single recovery rate. So, what is the value of the closing stock because of overage? Value of the closing stock because of overage. Let's assume you use a single recovery rate, the value is 1 lakh. If you use department wise recovery rate, it is 1 lakh 50. Closing stock has been valued lesser by 50,000 rupees. Closing stock has been valued lesser by 50,000 rupees and this will lead to fall in profit for the company. This will lead to fall in profit for the company because what is accurate is going with the recovery rate which is for 
individual department wise when we did problems we used to calculate separately for production department a b and c if organization decides to do only one recovery rate then you need not do primary over distribution you need not do secondary over distribution because all expenses will be clubbed together all expenses will be clubbed together and you will divide by the number of units and say over it per unit because it does not matter there is no point of doing distribution you will do distribution then do redistribution finally everything will go to one department <coughs> ultimately everything will go to a single department here they are saying <coughs> the company has followed a single recovery rate what is the effect on the profit also what is the difference in the selling price due to using of predetermined overhead rate instead of using department wise overhead rate so there will be an impact on valuation of stock there will also be an impact on selling price why will there be an impact on selling price because if you calculate wrong cost per unit you will fix a wrong selling price because your cost per unit calculation itself is wrong obviously the selling price is going to go wrong let's do part 2 and part 3 first and then i'll come to part 1 working note 1 computation of impact on profit impact on profit due to single recovery rate <coughs> particulars product whatever two products they have product a product b product a and product b now overheads will be considered for stock valuation overheads will be considered for stock valuation the when you value stock not only overheads there will be a material cost there will be labor cost i am not bothered about material and labor whether you use a single recovery rate or whether you use department wise recovery rate material cost labor cost and all will remain same so that does not matter now <coughs> single recovery rate and underline that single recovery rate what is the single recovery rate given in the question if you follow a single recovery rate they have given the recovery rates in the question what is the single recovery rate 20.4 per what 20.4 per direct labor hour that's the recovery rate given in the question alternatively you could have followed 28.8 per department pr and 12 per department qr 28.8 per department pr 12 per department qr the overall rate is 20.4 the overall rate is 20.4 we could have used separate rates but as of now i am using a single recovery rate <coughs> OH included in closing stock. OH included in closing stock. <coughs> or, or, sorry, change it as overhead per unit. Overhead per unit, number of units. OH included in closing stock. Overhead per unit, number of units and OH included in closing stock. <coughs> Read question fully. Product A, how many labor hours are needed to manufacture? To manufacture one unit of product A, how many labor hours are needed? Where is 3672 friend? I am asking one unit of product A, how many labor hours are needed? Four 
So four hours in department P and one hours in department Q. Put together five hours is needed. So twenty point four into five hours. Twenty point four into five hours is the overhead per unit. Twenty point four into five hours. Product B, how many hours are needed? Five. Again five, but it is one plus four. That was four plus one. Net net, you need five hours. Twenty point four into five. I am not bothered about how many in P, how many in Q because I am using a single recovery rate. I am using a single recovery rate. I don't distinguish between these two. How many units of closing stock of product A is there? Thousand. Product B. So this is what is considered in my books of accounts as of now. In my books, I have considered this. This I have already considered in my books of accounts. Overhead included in closing stock is one eight three six hundred five lakh fifty thousand eight hundred. Already included in the books of accounts. This is already considered in our books of accounts. This is not the ideal way to do. So they are saying, what is the impact? Because you followed a single recovery rate. We have followed. What is the effect of using a predetermined instead of using a department-wise rates? Then I'll go department-wise rates. Department-wise rates. Overhead per unit, number of units, OH included in closing stock. OH per unit, number of units, and OH included in closing stock. If you follow department-wise rates, listen, it will be four hours into twenty-eight, four hours into twenty-eight, one hour into twelve, four hours into twenty-eight, and one hour into twelve. This should be the value in my closing stock. Four hours into 28.8 and 1 hour into 12 rupees. When you go to the other product, 1 hour into 28.8 and 4 hours into 12. 4 hours into 12. Because in closing stock, I plan to go with the department-wise rate. I plan to go with the department-wise rate. Earlier we clubbed the number of hours together and followed a single rate of 20.4. So if you go with department-wise rate, 4 into 28.8 plus 1 into 12, 4 into 28.8 plus 1 into 12, and for the other product it is 1 into 28.8 plus 4 into 12, 1 into 28.8 plus 4 into 12. This is the ideal way of doing the valuation. Separate rate for department P, separate rate for department Q. Company wanted to follow a single rate. now impact on profit now listen this is what has happened this is ideal what has happened is this so if you have undervalued profit will go down if you have overvalued profit will go up what has happened is the first line item what should have happened is the next line item So in this case, there is a loss. There is a loss. Why there is a loss? Because you have valued it lesser. You have valued it 
lesser closing stock is a credit item in your trading account it's a credit item in your trading account so if you do undervaluation of closing stock profit will go down undervaluation of closing stock profit will go down this is what the company has ended up doing this is what the company should have done this is what they should have done because ideal is to follow a department wise recovery rate rather than following a blanket recovery rate and in this case profits have gone up so net net is overall impact on profit is overall profit will go up profit is going up by 90000 overall profit is increasing by 90720 what has been done is that line number 4 what should have been done is the line number 8 the profit has gone up by 90000 rupees because product b you did overvaluation product a you did undervaluation there is an undervaluation of one product and there is overvaluation of another product clear like there is an impact on the <coughs> stock there is also going to be an impact on the pricing why there is an impact on pricing it says calculate the difference in selling price due to the use of predetermined overhead assume that material and labor cost is 25 and 40 selling price is fixed by adding 40% selling price is fixed by adding 40% uh, over and above these cost to cover for profit and selling and admin overhead i have no idea what is selling and admin overhead but they are saying consider material consider labor consider factory overhead this this number is factory overheads maybe 36 lakh 70000 is the factory overhead add all the three add 40% to that 40% is for what purpose profit as well as 40% is for profit as well as selling and admin overhead profit as well as selling and admin overhead now the problem is if you use wrong factory overheads you will get to wrong cost you will get to wrong selling price you will get to wrong cost and wrong selling price they want to know what is the impact because of this what is the impact because of using a predetermined recovery rate as compared to using a department wise recovery rate as compared to using a department wise recovery rate next impact on selling price impact on selling price <coughs> first i'll calculate the selling price if i go with single recovery rate then i'll calculate the selling price if i go with department wise recovery rate the gap between them is the difference in selling price what they have done is single recovery rate what they could have done is department wise recovery rate the gap the gap between this is what we are trying to analyze direct material direct labor factory overhead cost per unit add markup and selling price direct material direct labor factory overhead cost per unit add markup and then you get the selling price markup is basically the profit markup is basically the profit 
the direct material cost is given in the question okay they have given direct cost material and labor put together they have not given separately so maybe i'll have to change this as direct cost they have not given material and labor separately they have given both of them together the direct cost of product a and product b is 25 and 40 25 40 direct costs are 25 and 40 <coughs> Twenty five and forty factory over it is one or two and one or two. We did this calculation earlier. Factory over it is one zero two and one zero two. If you follow a single recovery rate, if you follow a single recovery rate, it is one zero two and one zero two cost per unit. 127 and 142. How much markup they want to add? This may not be technically the profit because there are some selling over it. So we don't know that. But they wanted to add 40% to this. 140. This is what has been done. Then we will calculate what could have been done and they wanted the difference. They wanted what is the difference in selling price. They would have fixed up uh, selling prices 177.8 and 198.8. This may not be the right price. This may not be the right price. Why this is not the right price? Because ideal ways to go with department wise recovery rates. If you follow a single recovery rate, you are not taking into consideration the cost of each department separately. Any doubts on single recovery rate part? Then department wise. Rates, same five line items. Only thing is, over it will change. Over it figure will change. The over it figure will change. You have already calculated that over it figure when you did earlier calculation. The over it figure will change. The overhead figure was 127 and 76. The overhead figure is this. What could have been done? Clear. Any doubts on this? Now, difference is what they wanted. If you had followed Okay, the difference is same almost. Difference in selling price. This would I, this is underpriced, and this is overpriced. As of now, this is what you are doing. You underpriced one product and overpriced another product in the market. 
there's an underpricing and there's an overpricing which has happened one product we have done underpricing another product we have done overpricing underpricing of the first product overpricing of the second product both are not acceptable you should ideally go with the right pricing right pricing will ensure that customers buy your product and you make optimum profits if you underprice it you will get more demand but profit will not be there if you overprice it profit is there but demand will not be there so if you pricing it at the correct optimum level it will ensure that you are making the optimum amount of money any doubts on this <coughs> clear can you proceed okay i'll come to the part one of the question part one says what is the production and sales quantity of product a and b for the year production and sales now first i'll calculate production based on production i'll calculate sales how will i calculate sales based on production production there is some closing stock data given in the question opening stock is nil so opening stock plus production minus closing stock is sales opening stock plus production is on the debit side sales plus closing stock is in the credit side opening stock is nil sales data sorry closing stock data is given in the question sales will become balancing figure now how do i calculate production is i have 180000 hours i have 180000 hours in that 90000 hours is for this department 90000 hours is for this department now now write computation of production computation of production computation of production let us assume a and b to be the number of units number of units of product a and b a and b to be the number of units of product a and product b a and b to be the number of units of product a and product b i <clears throat> product a needs 4 hours in department p product p needs 4 hours in department p product b needs 1 hour in department p product a needs 4 hours of its time product a needs just give me a minute it says each unit of product a requires 4 hours requires 4 hours each unit of product b requires 1 hour in department p so 4 hours into number of units of a 1 hour into number of units of b put together will be 90000 hours put together will be 90000 hours because i have overall 90000 hours 4 hours of the first product 1 hour into the second product put together i have 90000 hours put together i have 90000 hours similarly 1 hour in department q 4 hours in department q so 1a plus 4b is equal to 90000 1a plus 4b is equal to 90000 the product needs each unit of product a needs 4 hours in department p needs 4 hours in department p and each unit of product b requires 1 hours in department p so 4 hours in department p 1 hour in department p so 4a plus 1b is equal to 90000 similarly 1a plus 4b is equal to 90000 write the equation solve them write and solve and let me know what is a and b sorry okay solve the equations
so i'll produce 18000 of a and 18000 units of b that's the production the company is likely to do 18000 units of a and 18000 units of b any doubts on this clear then <coughs> computation of quantity sold computation of quantity sold particular product a product b computation of quantity sold production less closing stock your sales plus closing stock is production so once i subtract closing stock from the production i'll get to know sales whatever i have produced from there whatever is there in stock balance is sold by the company balance is sold by the company production less closing stock is sales 18000 is production how much the closing stock 5000 so the sales done by the company is 16200 and 12600 this is the quantity sold 16200 and 12600 quantity sold is 16200 and 12600 any doubts on this clear up? <coughs> go through this and start doing this this is on machine or rate start doing this start doing the computation <clears throat>
Yeah. <laughs>
depreciation simple rent they have used the word factory rent they have used the word factory rent ideally i should apportion this on the base of area square feet i should apportion this on the base of area square feet we did a problem where it was mentioned it occupies 1 by 10 of the area or 1 by 5 of the area they have not mentioned anything i have divided by four machines i have divided by four machine with a logic saying that every machine will occupy same space every machine will occupy same amount of space same with lighting every machine will have same amount of lighting expenditure same logic i have taken for lighting and rent operator wages two operators four machine two is to four is the man to machine ratio repairs and maintenance is directly given per machine insurance premium is also per machine because 5 lakh is the cost of a single machine <coughs> four man salary they have used the word 1/6 of the time they have used the word 1/6 of the time other factory over its yep So shouldn't uh, four-man salary also be divided into two? Okay, to this factory. Okay, okay. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Into then one by four. Into then again into one by four. Okay, one sixth is to the factory. I thought one sixth is to the machine. One sixth is to the factory. After factory for the machine is one by four. For the machine is one by four. Other factory over it forty thousand divided by four machines. Power cost is incurred only for operating time. So of the two thousand two hundred, you are losing these two. Of the two thousand two hundred, you are losing fifty hours for repairs and six fifty hours for job setting. These are the two losses which are happening, and they have clearly mentioned this is unproductive. Clearly mentioned this is unproductive. So two two thousand two hundred minus fifty minus six fifty into eighty units into one rupee fifty paise. One rupee fifty paise is one fifty four hundred unit. One unit is one rupee fifty paise. <coughs> total cost number of hours machine or rate number of hours is i think 1500 that's the productive hours the productive hours is only 1500 productive hours is 1500 Machine R rate is two three two point one seven. The foreman part is one sixth of the time for the factory. So first you get the factory cost and then do into one by four for the machines. Any doubts on those? Clear. <coughs> 